Hi, welcome to First Ebook. This is video six of a series of 20 videos aimed at helping young writers become better writers. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the tools that a writer should be familiar with before starting a writing project. To create new documents, a writer should be comfortable with various software tools along with verbal and written communications. Now, a writer should have skills of writing, editing, and designing documents. Should also know a bit about publishing tools, help tools, web tools, and graphic tools that are used for creating documents, manuals, and books. You may not understand complicated software in a short time, but if you are serious with your writing, you will need to learn a few necessary software programs that are used to create documents. Now, word processing tools are the basic tools of the industry. These tools are used for processing words and performing different actions or tasks with words, in short, called formatting the document. Microsoft Word, Adobe FrameMaker, Interleaf, ArborText, PageMaker, etc. are some of the most common word processing tools. MS Word is probably the most requested writing tool in the industry. These tools are used to create documents including images and text. Word processors are different from desktop publishing tools, image capturing tools, and image editing tools. Now, those tools you need separate to a word processing tool. In a word processor, you can only type the text and format it as per the standards and specifications you require. These tools are used to format and create documents or manuals. Uh, a Microsoft Word now that's used to create documents up to a few hundred pages and if you're working on larger projects then you probably better to have a look at FrameMaker as that's mostly used to create documents where you are likely to exceed 500 pages. Both tools have more or less similar features for example formatting elements, inserting graphics, tables, tools etc. A writer must understand how to use features of tools such as format, graphics, macros, indexing, style, conditional text, etc. PageMaker is generally used for small documentation projects, but it has more features of graphics and layout than word processors. An image capturing tool is another useful piece of software, and that's used to capture images or to take the photo or basically take the photo of whatever is on the image on your screen. Snagit is probably one of the better options and used by many writers and businesses for image capturing. Desktop publication tools are also called designing tools. These tools are not widely used by writers, but knowledge of these tools can be an added advantage. A writer is not expected to be a professional graphic designer, but a basic knowledge of graphic designing tools can help, in the, can help with most of your work. Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, PageMaker, etc. These tools are mainly recognized as desktop publication applications. Now, desktop publishing tools are mainly used to design the advertisements that are published in newspapers and magazines. These tools are different than word processors. You can compare documents or you can prepare documents with the help of designing applications, but these tools are more comfortable to design an ad. These tools are mainly used in the media industry. Now what do you know about collaborative writing tools? Well collaborative writing tools are the technologies that facilitate the editing and reviewing of a text document by multiple individuals, either in real time or asynchronously. Online web-based collaborative writing tools offer great flexibility and usefulness in learning groups and educational settings as they provide an easy means to generate text exercises, research reports and other writing assignments in a full collaborative fashion. Collaborative writing tools can vary a great deal and can range from the simplicity of a wiki system to more advanced systems. Basic features include the typical formatting and editing facilities of a standard word processor with the addition of live chat, live markup and annotation, co-editing, version tracking and more. 
Google itself has recently entered this field with its Google Docs, a fully web-based collaborative writing tool, formerly known as Writely. A document, documents generated with such tools are always accessible to all the editors and can be easily downloaded and exported in standard word processing file formats. When it comes to plagiarism prevention, this is another area we need to look at. Keep in mind that not all plagiarism is intentional. With many article types such as product reviews, travel articles, etc., content can be repeated due to a manufacturer's language for an item or because a location is often described using the same words. Considering the volume of pure information online, sometimes a completely ethical writer can accidentally plagiarize. Regardless of how original you know your work to be, it is always advisable to check before submitting work to a client, if that's what your profession is. Now, Dustball is another of the best freelance writing tools available. Dustball will pit your newly created original article against all content available online with a high accuracy rate. It may not have sharp accuracy of other plagiarism detectors, but it will detect blatant or even accidental excessive copying. However, Dustball does offer a more accurate check rate for a fixed fee per month. Copyscape, now that's another baby, that claims a highly accurate rate of plagiarism detection. There is no charge to compare a newly created URL to another to ensure no plagiarism has occurred. However, the most important feature, which is the ability to check offline articles against online content, is not free. The good news is that Copyscape is a minimal investment that is well worth it to any freelancer who wants to maintain a credible and respectable reputation. That's it for now. You can find more videos on creative writing at firstebook.co. Thank you.